January 2025, A Stargazer's Guide to This Month's Best Astronomy Events. Are you ready to kick off 2025 with some of the most breathtaking celestial events of the year? January 2025 is shaping up to be an extraordinary month for stargazing. The universe is putting on a spectacular show, and the best part? Most of these events can be observed with nothing more than your eyes or a pair of binoculars. In this video, we'll cover everything you need to know about January's celestial highlights including the quadranted meteor shower, close planetary approaches, and Mars shining at opposition. Plus, we'll share the best times and tips for observing each event. So, grab your stargazing gear and prepare to explore the universe. Quadranted Meteor Shower Peak January 3rd, 2025. If you love meteor showers, the quadrantids will not disappoint. Peaking on January 3rd, this annual meteor shower promises a dazzling display of shooting stars in the early morning hours. Why it's special? The quadrantids are unique because they originate from an asteroid, 2003 EH1, instead of a comet. At their peak, under ideal conditions, this shower can produce up to 120 meteors per hour, making it one of the most active showers of the year. Best Viewing Times The radiant point in the constellation Bootes will be highest in the sky just before dawn. From New York City, Aim to observe between 4 a.m. and 6 a.m. EST for the best displays. Meteors radiate from boots near the Big Dipper, but don't stare directly at the radiant. Look about 30 to 40 degrees away to catch the longest, brightest streaks. Pro Tips the new moon ensures no moonlight interference, so dark skies are your best friend. January mornings are cold, and a reclining chair or blanket will keep you comfortable during the show. Early observers mistakenly named this shower after the now obsolete constellation Quadrans Muralis, hence the name Quadrantids. Close Approach of the Moon and Venus, January 3, 2025. On the evening of January 3rd, turn your gaze to the southwest after sunset, where Venus will dazzle beside a slender crescent moon. Separated by just one degree and 18 minutes, this celestial duo promises a breathtaking display easily visible to the naked eye. The spectacle begins around 5 p.m. EST as the pair rises into view, remaining prominent until they set at approximately 8.30 p.m. EST. Why you shouldn't miss it. This event is an ideal opportunity for beginners to explore the night sky. The radiant glow of Venus, coupled with the delicate beauty of the young moon, creates a scene perfect for both stargazing and photography. Even a simple pair of binoculars can enhance the view making this a memorable moment for all sky watchers. Close Approach of the Moon and Saturn, January 4th, 2025. On the evening of January 4th, the moon will pass close to Saturn, creating a celestial duo worth watching. Key times, Visible starting at 5.22 p.m. ES 37 degrees above the southwestern horizon. The pair will set around 9.38 p.m. EST, so catch them early in the evening. What to expect? Saturn will shine at mag 0.9, appearing as a golden dot next to the moon. 
Although they won't fit in the same telescope view, binoculars will reveal Saturn's iconic rings. In some parts of the world, observers will witness a lunar occultation where the moon briefly covers Saturn. Even if you're not in the occultation path, this close encounter is still a beautiful sight. Occultation of Mars by the Moon, January 13, 2025. This is one of January's marquee events. On the evening of January 13, the Moon will pass directly in front of Mars, briefly hiding it from view. What is an occultation? An occultation occurs when one celestial body passes in front of another, obscuring it completely. For viewers in North America, this means watching the Moon swallow Mars for over an hour. Key Viewing Details East Coast, Mars disappears around 9 p.m. EST and reappears about an hour later. West Coast, the event starts earlier between 6 p.m. and 6.30 p.m. PST, just as the Moon and Mars rise. Why it's unique? Mars will be near opposition, making it brighter and larger than usual at mag minus 1.4. The reddish glow of Mars, paired with the Moon's brilliance, creates a stunning contrast. Tips for viewing. Use binoculars or a telescope to fully appreciate the moment Mars slips behind the moon. Check local times for precise occultation details based on your location. Mars at Opposition, January 15, 2025. Mars reaches opposition on January 15, shining brighter than any time since 2022. why it's important. At opposition, Mars is directly opposite the Sun, making it fully illuminated and closest to Earth. This alignment happens roughly every two years, but 2025's opposition places Mars high in the northern hemisphere's skies, offering excellent visibility. How to observe. Mars will be in Gemini, near the bright stars Castor and Pollux. Even small telescopes will reveal details like Mars's polar ice caps and dark surface features, including Certus Major and the Hellas Basin. Fun Fact During its closest approach in 2003, Mars shone nearly twice as brightly as it will this year. Still, its orange-red hue and surface features make it a spectacular target for telescopes. Gamma Ursae Minorid Meteor Shower, January 19, 2025. Wrapping up January's celestial highlights is the Gamma Ursae Minorid Meteor Shower, peaking on January 19. Tips for viewing. To catch the Gamma Ursae Minorid Meteor Shower at its best, head to a location far from city lights. With the radiant located in the constellation Ursa Minor, it will be visible throughout the night, even in areas with some light pollution. The meteors may appear faint, so patience is key. Allow your eyes 15-20 minutes to adjust to the dark and use a reclining chair or blanket to comfortably take in the entire sky. Why it's special. Although the Gamma Ursi Minorids are a relatively quiet meteor shower, with only about three meteors per hour at peak, their radiant is circumpolar, meaning it never sets for observers in the Northern Hemisphere. This makes them visible all night long. Observing this shower also offers a rare opportunity to see meteors traveling at slower speeds compared to other showers, providing graceful streaks across the night sky. Best viewing times. The shower peaks around 12 a.m. EST on January 19th, 
but meteors can be seen throughout the night. For optimal conditions, observe before moonrise at 9 p.m. EST, when the sky will be at its darkest. Pro tips. Look 30 to 40 degrees away from the radiant in Ursa Minor for the best chance to see long, bright meteors. If you're in a rural area with minimal light pollution, you might catch up to two meteors per hour at the peak. Bring warm clothing, a thermos of your favorite drink, and a star map to locate Ursa Minor. The Gamma Ursi Minorids are one of the least studied meteor showers, offering amateur astronomers a chance to contribute valuable observations. Each streak of light is a cosmic grain of dust burning up in our atmosphere, possibly remnants from a long-lost comet. What's your favorite event? January 2025 is a month filled with cosmic wonders, from meteor showers and planetary alignments to rare events like the occultation of Mars. Whether you're an avid stargazer or just starting out, these celestial spectacles offer something magical for everyone. Which event are you most excited to see? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all things astronomy. Clear skies and happy stargazing. As we conclude this virtual odyssey, we invite you to like and subscribe to our channel to embark on further cosmic explorations. With every click, you elevate our pursuit of knowledge and contribute to the collective understanding of our universe.